hello guys and welcome back to my channel i'm linda and this is linda's home and style and even before we get into today's video i just have a quick request guys uh, for anyone who comes across my channel please consider subscribing and let's grow together and then to my girls yeah my premium girls any the friends i've made here on youtube i just want to say thank you for watching for subscribing for sharing and for the comments yeah i really appreciate you guys so in today's video we just want to do a homemaking video basically i just want to share with you what 21k can do in terms of grocery shopping and house restock and also we are gonna batch cook some renda beans mbogakienyeji and dengu so guys welcome and uh, don't go away and again please remember subscribing and let's grow together yeah i know i look good yeah i look fly baby i'm baby i'm just your type I'm so guys i just want to share with you what 21,000 can do in terms of shopping restock like foodstuffs and uh, groceries and uh for this today i went at jilani's yeah they have offers and uh, i think they are fine price so we'll just start with the chuzo milk yeah and i got two of them long life each was going for 700 shillings yeah then i also got the chapati and i got two of them and uh, each was going for 196 kenya shillings so that is like uh, 390 something and uh, after that we have the mandazi flour and uh, the mandazi flour was going for 201 kenya shillings then self-raising flour i got two and uh, each was going for 202 shillings yeah alafu all purpose flour all purpose flour i usually use it for things like donut and bread and uh, each was going for 195 shillings for the njogo um for the njogo like unge ugali each was going for 170 it had an offer yeah so i got two yeah alafu i got um tomato ketchup and i got this big one today yeah because nimechoka kubai like so i sacrificed myself today and i got this five m five liters one it was going for 1124 then i got the kasuku i really enjoy cooking my my chapati using kasuku so i got uh kasuku ya 2 kg and it was going for 639 kenya shillings then golden fry the golden fry i got the 10 liters one yeah and uh, i think it will push us a while and it was going for 2166 2166 kenya shillings alafu you go to prestige i wanted the 1 kg one but sikupata so i had to pick like easy billy and they were going for 180 each and then after that i got this uh Colgate for me, I like brushing my teeth with this uh, Colgate, either this or the advanced Colgate. And uh, this Colgate goes for 406 Kenya shillings. Then, after that, I got the Velvex, Ile Velvex, ya napkin dispenser, here, up here, colored it to take a whole kitchen table, yeah, yeah, she can napkins. So, this one is going for one eight Kenya shillings. Then, uh, green grounds are going for. 100 kenya shillings and again at upendi green grams in this house that's why in each kwatu here dogo then aluminium foil yeah 154 the long one is it long as in it is long in length yeah yeah the long one so that it can fit my oven perfectly when i'm roasting something then clinging foil yeah i got a clinging foil uh it's 134 each 134 each then ketepa bags yeah i really enjoyed this one these tea bags so the ketepa bag was going for 560 uh, no 558 kenya shillings yeah i think it had like a small offer yeah and uh geisha black soaps billy yeah uh 152 kenya shillings each and then barbecue no sorry sausage yeah sausage 719 and uh, for sausage i usually just put like uh, I'll, I'll separate nizeke kidogo kidogo so, so that my sons can uh, have something extra for breakfast when they're going to school yeah 
yeah and uh also we we dogo you be packed food from home so that's why i get such stuff at least akule shule and then um i got carpet shampoo we are gonna try this one eh the carpet shampoo is sufficient yeah carpet and upholstery eh? we'll try washing the seats with it to know how it perform and it was going for to 10 kenya shillings yeah to 10 kenya shillings then then the popcorn <laughs> the popcorn was going for 233 kenya shillings i and uh in jilani sikona vitu nyimu penda za butterfly the butterfly company yeah so i just had to take this one yeah uh we'll try it to a really in a taste the popcorn yeah to a, if it's different from your butterfly because napenda to the butterfly as a whole at and they have their own like uh brand there and uh, after that I got um I got the Safisha. This is the Safisha All Purpose, yeah. And uh Safisha All Purpose uh goes for 227, yeah. 227 Kenya shillings. <laughs> yeah, I lost Jabai Ashton. Eh? Ashton Leo Pesa imekuwa kidogo. Yeah, si buy Ashton. And then I got this uh twin uh Velvex here kitchen, yeah. Yeah, kitchen. A kitchen towel and it was going for 331 eh? 331 alafu cornflower cornflower it was going for 111 shillings then um, cloves cloves by carbonate i got a lot of them because more sure these things can be used for cleaning actually when you combine it with vinegar it is a very powerful like uh what can i say solution for cleaning even for washing clothes for washing the toilet for washing your sinks and it's so powerful actually combined with vinegar so i bought a lot a lot a lot of them and uh each was going for 23 kenya shillings yeah i think that is why i bought a lot then kuna cortex hapo uh the panty liner to 27 yeah alafu kuna tomato paste yes this one here tomato paste then today at least i bought you kubwa kidogo yeah kubwa kidogo and to push for a while to 25 kenya shillings then um lead glade this is a cool spray yeah this ones i got the blooming and uh, cherry alafu nika get uh, this um amber one amber and wood each was going for i think 330 yeah 330 yeah one was going for 326 yeah the the amber one was going for 326 and uh the blue one was going for 286 yeah a very huge uh, difference in the two and uh iyo kakoko bata iya zoe iyo hapo ilikuwa 228 alafu yeast yeah for baking you know for baking and bread not for baking actually for bread eh? for bread and such East was going for yeast mm -hmm, was going for one hundred one 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 hundred one hundred and eleven sorry guys one hundred the yeast was going for one hundred and eleven and uh sea salt the sea salt is there it was going for one thirty eight Kenya shillings yeah and then it was going for one thirty eight Kenya shillings yeah and yeah and uh in a scarf kadogo is it's 318 yeah <laughs> i find it to be very expensive for such a small thing yeah yeah 318 alafu um this sugar iapa e sugar uh this sugar usually make um what do i say cookies with it yeah cookies and it was going for 181 kenya shillings then brown sugar again <coughs> brown sugar you can uh, use it to make a lot of stuff even your sauces yeah like barbecue sauce and it was going for 170 i'm planning to make my own barbecue sauce very soon that's why the big uh ketchup and uh yeah yeah so that sneaky to me nikki to me at the then um the pads of course easy it's not going 192 yeah alafu icing sugar i think icing sugar ina kuanga 120 normally but today it was uh, 118 ndio hii yeah icing sugar i usually use to make my ginger cookies eh? 
my ginger cookies. I think I'll make one of these fine days no nishivle muting in these ginger cookies. Eh? And then spaghetti, this one here, it was going for 283. Most of the time I usually get it for like over 300 eh? at Naivas. So Jilan is ni place poor. Eh? Place poor ya ku by vitu you get a lot of bargains like and offers that and you, you get to like save a lot when you go to jilani so i think for this major major stuff like kama easy sasa nda kwa tuna ndanga kubai jilani za lafu hizo vitu ndogo ndogo ndoneza bai sasa naivas eh sijui kama niluambia skari but yeah we also got sugar yeah at least we have others in the pantry so we'll just add this one eh yeah so guys i just want to show you the vegetables that have come with from uh, the market and first of course mnajua viazi ya ziko sangi hizo ndio viazi but uh, due to the sun shining so much like they were they were not like so fresh or uh, good quality but uh, it's better than that nothing so that will do then carrots we still have others in the fridge so we only added hizo kidogo then white onions because you know like uh, the last time i was uh, in webuye for for work i brought a lot of uh, onions red onions yeah so these ones at least new white onions start to push for a while nyanya nyanya tu ni kutengeneza maybe kachumbari because again i have a lot of pureed tomato in the freezer and love with these are mangoes just uh, yeah they were going i think 20 for one so it was like so mbili then i got uh, yellow beans these are yellow beans alafu sijui ni tuangwa aje easy easy but um, these are very less in acid yeah they don't give you gas sorry gas not acid gas so that's why i go for them yeah and uh, hoho garlic dania <coughs> then to my favorite part eh? is in mrenda i don't know if you know mrenda yeah, ini mrenda and uh, kunde. Kunde inakanga hivi. So yeah, we'll be making mrenda na kunde. Yeah, I think mi napenda hizi mboga cuz I think mi ni mluya or I don't know. Then uh hizi ni sageti. You can also call it saga. Yeah, I also enjoy this mboga so much and I usually mix it with the uh, managu and uh, terere. Terere is mchicha. Yeah, so I usually mix that up. Easy ni tatengeneza ni kate. Then I pack in the freezer. Same as this one, yeah? Yeah, then we'll be just enjoying it with our ugali, with beef or uh, whichever protein that we've cooked. So guys, we also got meat. And uh, since we have other proteins in the fridge, uh, we just got this. This is a little, but uh, it will last us the whole week. Because I took kidogo kwa nyumba. And then we don't normally eat meat like every day. So yeah, sukuni tuneza dubin, singine, fish, ivo, ivo. So yeah, I'll just pack in the containers. Then I set it up in the freezer. So guys, here I'm starting to batch cook. And I started with dengu because it's the easiest to cook, yeah? And then if you buy your dengu from the supermarket, in kwanga already polished, imetolewa like the stones and everything. That is why I usually prefer to buy my dengu in the supermarket, yeah? And uh, here I was just cleaning it up. Like I can wash it like three times, yeah? Just to make sure it's super clean. Then I used my crock pot to make the ndengu because uh, ndengu it take a lot a lot of time to cook alafu also since i was gonna make some beans i didn't want to use the instant pot to like uh, make the ndengu so apa nimesha zekelea and it took quite a, a little time for it to cook yeah and then after that i went on to making my uh, beans and uh, on this day i made yellow beans first of all i sort my beans kabisa kabisa and uh, the hotel is coming in handy as you can see so i just sort my beans first i was kissing you with my eyes open but you said you said keep them closed and be in the moment so i did i did did my best to make you feel wanted but what about what i want what about what i want and what i wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the weekends that are watching the movie so after
after sorting my beans i usually put them like in a big basin then i start the process of washing and again i wash like four times or three times yeah you just wash you rinse you wash you rinse until you get clear water then after that i just uh, like uh, set them up aside like uh, in water for like a few hours just to get the extra gas out of the beans and also kama kulikuwa na uchafuzi imetoka iko ime soak uh before now i start the process of uh boiling them in the instant pot don't you want me to be what you need to be in me oh that's how i knew it i guess i never loved you like i love me i guess i never loved you and that's okay with me cuz someday i love someone so guys for me the day i'm batch cooking i usually like don't even go out cuz i usually have a lot of stuff to batch cook like to prep and uh, set up in the freezer so after soaking my beans i went on to making my mrenda and if you know i'm luya and i love mrenda so much mrenda can be a mixture of uh, mrenda yani and uh, kunde or you can even add miro if you know what i'm talking about yeah just to give it that kind of extra flavor so that is what i'm doing here as my beans soak and then nikaosha nikaosha vizuri like again you wash your rinse you wash your rinse you wash your rinse until you get clear water yeah and i usually wash my sink because i need space i need a lot of space to wash my mboga so i usually wash my sink like deep clean my sink because i know i'll be washing my mbogas in the sink yeah yeah so that is what i do first like i love me but i've to wait a little and not so okay with me okay 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 uh. So guys for prepping mrenda what you need to do is just to boil a little water with uh, something called mshereha or romunyu <laughs> i hope one day i'll make it uh, the mshereha you see how it's made and then if you don't have the mshereha you can add very little magadi though magadi is very controversial yeah so that is what i do then after it boils i cut my or i chop my mboga uh, yeah in this case kunde and uh, mrenda and uh, just boil it eh? I just boil again spend it ikiwa like the big leaves so that is why I chop mine up yeah So guys this is how mrenda looks when it's ready like it's boiled enough and after that you just turn your cooker off and uh, let it sit and cool yeah before you pack it yeah i don't pack my food when they are still hot so after turning it off i went on to now uh, preparing my sageti <laughs> and i love sageti sageti managu and um, chicha This is also one of my favorite uh, vegetables and you can't miss it in our house. So after that I went on to prepping his yapa. Yeah, cuz again it's a long process to prep these mbogas and you also need to prep them well or remove the large sticks and then we yoshe poa cuz if you don't wash it poa like when you're eating it uta feel like sand or uh, your chewing stones yeah. That is why I like doing this by myself when I'm free. So guys after preparing the mboga like hizo mboga za kienyeji I usually do an extensive wash on them yeah cuz hizi they tend to carry a lot of uh, soil and sand so hizi you can even wash like five times before now cutting them up and uh, boiling them okay okay uh. Okay with 
guys after now washing i usually cut into very small pieces and here's you don't add like omshereha or romunyu or ramagadi so you just cut and again if you don't want them to be soggy yeah if you don't want mbogaya soup you don't add any water in this uh mboga when you're when you're cooking yeah because in mboga imagine na baki kwa mboga when you're cutting it or after washing is just sufficient enough to cook his mboga yeah so you don't need to add extra water for them to cook so after that is done i usually just cover and boil for a while papa is ready i'll just let them to cool as i prepare my beans and uh, when i'm placing the beans in the pot the pressure pot i don't use the water that i had soaked them in to cook i'll pour out that water and after this process i'll pour in some fresh water for my beans to cook yeah and uh, when i'm cooking beans i usually just place them on uh, like isn't it beans mob sana and this is a, an uh, an eight liter pressure pot yeah so i usually place it for like one hour to one hour 35 minutes or uh, one hour yeah and after that when the beans were cooking i just went ahead uh, to now um packaging my mbogas because and i started with the mboga kinyeji first and on this day we had used most of our fridge containers the plastic ones that's why we are using the ziplocs Walk out the door in my little black dress Been a long day and I need to de-stress Sun sets behind downtown skyline My headphones on playing my favorite song Turn the volume up all the way on my phone Pulsing concrete on the So after finishing with the packaging of the Mboga Kenyeji It was now time to package my brenda <laughs> and i really enjoy eating brenda yeah. so i just packed them up in these two containers because they cook a mob yeah and uh set them up in the freezer uh, my feet city is my club tonight it's way under traffic lights streets are glowing neon bright it's a dance floor in one light new age and life can get crazy i just see the way So by the time I was finishing with them Brenda my ndengu was also ready and I also ended up placing them in the Ziplocs yeah and uh, for ndengu people in my house they don't like ndengu as much that is why ne kanga kidogo kidogo when packaging but for me napenda ndengu na chapati so much yeah? i think it just brings the childhood memories like you know kitambo like chapo was a big deal when in apikwa when we were young yeah so that is why i just prefer my ndengu with chapati and after a while i also prepped the beans yeah and again tulizeka kwa ziplocs i think container zetu zote on this days ilikuwa zimekuwa nyama yeah and uh, i also usually have like two fridge ama ni free ah uh -uh. niko na freezer alafu niko na ile instant uh, ile knock knock fridge yeah? so for such foods yeah for such foods i usually use my small freezer to store them yeah ndo fridge like your the big fridge ni achieve vitu kama nyama and uh, the things that we normally use like on a daily basis yeah i so 
so guys here i've told you the small freezer is what we use for packaging our food like easy boiled foods and uh, you can see we are just packaging them up on dani and uh, we've reached the end of this uh, vlog or video and uh, if you're still here thank you for watching thank you for sharing thank you for just being here thank you for your comments and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing